Okay, so I took uh, a bit of time. I woke up at 2 a.m. to uh, 2 p.m. today, and I think I got like six or seven hours sleep. So I'm pretty good sleep-wise, but I also got my injection, and um, so I'm tired. And I've had like four cups of coffee, maybe five. And, um, yeah, I wanted to make another, uh, video, because, uh, I want to learn the chords that I've been, I practiced, uh, for a little bit earlier today without the camera on, and it felt good that I, I had the nerve to do that. I mean, like, I'm not dependent completely on the camera, I think I would fail if every time I practiced I had to film myself, but some good things happened, like um, uh, my light, or my views for the other practice videos, they went from zero to one to like four to six, so that means maybe two or three people have actually been watching what I'm doing. I don't know. Um, I also posted some things to SoundCloud and one of them got downloaded. And I've been listening to this album, which you can't see, or maybe you can see. Um, so I've been listening to this album and the artist, uh, she commented on one of my Facebook posts that was a share of one of the things she said. So, you know, I can't get too egotistical about the fact that someone I admire uh, like does anything on social media because the whole thing is just like a huge trick and I think the only people who are s still on social media are there to sell something. Um, I, I just, I'm cynical like that from doing open mics for comedy. So I have like the the open mic people section of my Facebook and the, uh, the like weird internet people who found me somehow section and then the, the like high school section and depending on the mood I'm in I see these different places so like if I'm doing a lot of open mics I see a lot of open micer uh, people talking if I'm just doing nothing on the internet, and I think doing this counts as nothing. Um, I see a lot of the weird, like, they, they don't admit to it, but they're 4chan people, I, I think. I mean, maybe they'd be insulted by that, and I don't mean to insult them. Oh, wait, is it supposed to be on this leg or this leg? Um, I know there's a style to cross your leg. Back to the right way to do it, um, and so uh, I was going to practice those chords again because when I practiced with the camera off I felt like I got the fingering right, but now I've had a few pills which I'm prescribed by a doctor, I'm supposed to be on these pills, uh, and uh, I just hate that like mental illness is so like if you don't have it it's really easy to believe that it's just some uh, the, the word they used in the 20s or something was like histrionic which actually stems from they gave women hysterectomies which means they removed their uterus if they got too um, emotional so yeah there's this whole basically I have a mental illness I think everyone who knows me online believes in the concept of mental illness to some degree, but there's some people who don't. Um, and uh, it sucks running into them. Uh, meanwhile, there's the like fact that I'm quitting alcohol. And I know this is a guitar video, but I've spent like four and a half minutes just describing my life. So anyways, this uh, musician who has inspired me to learn partly. There are other things that inspired me, like, for example, this guitar is my friend, so it's free. Um, and, uh, and there's other people who, like, through listening, to, like, 
I, f I found SoundCloud and I found all these like artists. I, I mean, that's pretentious to call them artists, but like musicians or I don't know if it's pretentious to call. I, I don't think they'd mind being called a musician, but on SoundCloud and um, like you grow up 20, 20 years ago, like all the music you see is on TV. So it's through like one channel and it's, if you want to hear the music that's like not Justin Bieber, you have to stay up past your bedtime and watch Sukin uh, Lee uh, talk about, and I apologize, uh, I have a speech impediment and I don't speak to other people regularly, so yeah, I, uh, I could go so many directions with that, but anyways, uh, so music was very limited and I, I, got, I got Napster when I was younger and I just downloaded everything that basically everyone knows. Everyone, like the, the, the people from the past 40 years that everyone knows and if you say you like them, who cares? But with SoundCloud, like there's actual individuals who sound good um, and you can talk to them in real life. And, um, anyway, so Tess Parks is in this weird area where she's like halfway in, into the door of being like, she would appear on actual TV as opposed to the computer and halfway in the computer door. So she like, she comments on my post and, uh, just now she plus one, which is a Google thing, something I wrote on, she's working on an album with uh, uh, Brian Johnstone Massacre. And I don't know if any of you care about this, but it's just like, it's marketing because it makes, it makes you feel more connected to the artist. So like it's a trick, but at the same time, it's inspirational that like you're gonna at least pretend like they know who you are and think about you for more than five seconds. <laughs> uh, and you know, I've had people, I don't know, I'm nowhere near as famous as, as any of these people, but I have 500 friends and I know that that's nothing, but you know, you, you can kind of relate to how once you get big enough, you have to build a wall, and it's not so much about like presenting a good politically correct face on television. It's just like you're just overwhelmed by comments and stuff like that. And uh, I haven't got to that point, and I may never get to that point. But I was gonna practice these chords for fun. I'm eight minutes in and I still haven't played guitar. So I was gonna practice these chords. Uh, Tommy Fenton is a vlogger and he says, talk to the camera like it's your best friend. And um, I guess that's what I'm doing. And just, you know, being able to talk at all. I'm used to keyboard. So like, not only do I have a speech impediment, or funny teeth, a funny, funny sounding voice, but uh, for a long time I, I, would I would literally sit in silence. My computer speakers would make noise, but I wasn't talking, so maybe that's why. Uh, and maybe it's because I just finished a coffee. And I could tell you so much more, there's so much more going on with my life. Um, but whatever, so, um, is, no, they want this, so,
And I know a lot of the younger generation are on Adderall, or have been on Adderall. And uh, I've never done it. I think it makes them a lot more hyper than what coffee does to me. But I was just thinking about that. There's like, I don't know, all these stimulants while I'm on depressants. That's muted. This is supposed to be A, by the way. which, as I said in the past, sounds like cheating. Uh, cheating on the music, not on her, of course. Because she, I love her so much, I just want her to be here all the time. I want, uh, I want her to... Uh, uh, I want her to be here. No, seriously, um, my sleep is way better when she's here. And I am so much happier. And she, like, just to the right of the camera, I'm not going to turn it because it, it'll make a jerky noise and it'll be uh, bad for viewership. But there's a, there's a laptop right here and we sit next to each other and we use the computer. And uh, until, until recently, um, all we did was just drink and sit at the computer, and I want to go outside more, and I want to do fun things with her that's not just watching TV and drinking. So, so there's this chord. <laughs> I think that's time of your life, that's what the sound is. Anyways, that was always the most difficult chord, but I was proud of myself today. Because I think I got the fingering right on that. I don't know, you tell me. No one's commenting or liking on any of these videos, and that's fine. But, uh... And I know I told my friend to back off with the feedback because he was getting overwhelming, but I think I'm ready for some feedback. Or maybe in a week I'll be ready. Piano lessons were like a week. Piano lessons were like a week apart. And, uh, it's like, did you do your homework? And you know, how, not everyone goes through this, but you know when you just eventually just stop doing your homework? That's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about this. That I'll stop doing my homework because I'm the only person who actually cares if I do this or not. Like I said, I need a flesh and blood person to, who actually cares, so like, lessons would be good, I guess. But, uh... Also, I don't want lessons because I, I'm better than everyone else, aren't I? Um, that's a joke, but I, it would take a lot for someone to inspire me, I'd have to like meet, meet an individual, and the individual would like be like, oh, you're so good at this. Or, no, no, I would say they're so good at this, and then they would give me lessons. But then I would be like a fanboy, so I don't know. 
So that was all the six scales. Is that right? Yes, that's right. <laughs> That's not my parents expressing their mad at me. mistakes and the mistakes sound good. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about because it doesn't translate into the camera. I don't know. Actually, I'm improving pretty quickly, I think. Seeing how I thought all of this was impossible, like literally impossible, not just figuratively. And I also don't mean, okay, yeah, I guess that is a stretch of literal, but I mean, I was pretty convinced that I couldn't do this. Which is good. So, whoa. whoa. I had this before, and maybe I didn't have it. would say I am doing this because I think I'm doing it right because I'm doing it wrong and I don't know that I'm not doing it wrong which is a reason not to get an instructor This is 
moved so fast. Sometimes I get worried that when people say cocaine, they literally mean Coca-Cola and there's no difference between cocaine and Coca-Cola. Because I drink a lot of Coca-Cola and I have a can here. I mean Coca-Cola, I don't mean the Colombian drug, but I don't know, like... I hate that they sound so similar, that they both have the coca and the, uh, you know, and I think cocaine addicts drink a lot of coke, but I never did cocaine and I'm healthy because of that. But I, I was in the mental hospital once and they tested my blood and they asked my parents if I ever did meth and uh, I've never done meth, so I don't know. I don't, sm I don't smoke weed anymore, but having smoked weed for a long time, looking back you wonder like, what did they put in the weed? They could put anything, it's illegal, there's no FDA. I could mute the strings, which would fuck up my fingers, or I could just use the strumming hand to not play those strings. But I admit, right now, I'm not paying too close attention to that. And... Doot, doot. Doot, doot. supposed to get as close to the frets. I think these are actually called the frets as possible, but with this electric guitar I get the feeling that I can go in the middle and it all they're just helpful things. And if I were like a scientist I could uh, I could change where it was so I could play it better. The, like, take that fret and bend it up so when I play a certain chord, I'm sure plenty of science has gone into the right way of doing this. I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah, so my friend said, like, if I don't learn the right way, basically, I won't be able to play any of the songs that I love so much, and um, I mean, I guess I do want to play those songs, but I also want to make my own. Perspective, if it was time off or if it was like 
I don't know. Maybe they just reduce it to narcissism or something. My dad said if you play guitar like just straight on your lap, there's a different kind of guitar for that. So you definitely want to have it up. You know, everyone has advice. I'm, I don't know. So, 25 minutes, I think, uh, will bore anyone, so I'm going to turn this off. Although I do want to keep playing. <laughs>